Good morning, everyone. This is Sagis Paraskevov, fundamental analyst at IronFX Global, bringing you the morning comment for the 24th of November. Dollar index touched briefly the psychological 100 level. The dollar reached a seven month high against the basket of currencies, underpinned by expectation that the Fed is on track to raise rates in December. With the December Fed rate hike priced around 74%, up from around 70% on Friday, the focus stays on the US data and on Fed speakers going into the meeting. As we continue to see improvement in the US fundamentals, the prospect for a rate hike increases and this could support the greenback further. US crude oil trades below $43 per barrel. Benchmark West Texas Intermediate crude for January, delivery and Brent crude oil moved higher on Monday after Saudi Arabia repeated pledge to work with OPEC and other producers towards oil price stability. However, the advance stay limited as concerns about global supply glut and signs of rising US stockpiles remain intact. Even though we had similar pledges before, the Saudis and other big OPEC producers have kept output high to maintain market share. As a result, I would prefer to see a real shift in policy at OPEC's next meeting on December 4 to trust that the output will be indeed restrained. In such case, we could see oil prices moving higher. As for today, during the European Day from Germany, the IFO survey for November is being released. The forecast is for the current assessment index to decline slightly, while the expectations index to tick up a bit. Both the ZUW indices have recovered as the effects of the Volkswagen scandal started to fade away and therefore we may see a positive surprise in the IFO indices as well. This could support Euro a bit. The German final GDP for quarter 3 confirmed the preliminary estimate and showed that the economy grew at a 0.3% quarter on quarter pace in quarter 3. The reaction in the markets was muted as we didn't have any huge revision in the GDP figure. From the US, we get the second estimate of quarter 3 GDP. The forecast is for the growth rate to be revised up to 2% from 1.5% quarter on quarter, although this will still point to a slowdown compared to the astonishing print of 3.9% in quarter 2, given the positive data coming out from the US, we still believe that the economic recovery remains on track. After all, this encouraging data are one of the main reasons the Fed is considering December as an appropriate time for a Fed fund rate hike. The second estimate of the core PC deflator for quarter three, the Fed's favored inflation measure, is also due out. The forecast is for the 1.3% quarter on quarter growth rate for of the finish of the first estimate to be confirmed. Additionally, the SP Case Schiller House Price Index for September is expected to have slightly accelerated from the previous month, which in addition to the positive housing starts and building permits released last week, could signal further improvement in the US housing sector. Finally, the Conference Board Consumer Confidence Index is expected to have increased slightly in November following October's moderate decline. This could suggest an improvement in the short-term US outlook and add to USD gains. As for the speakers, we have three speakers on Tuesday's agenda. ECB Governing Council members Carlos Costa and Francoise Villeroy and the RBA Governor Glenn Stevens. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade delivered directly to you. And also, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Sagis Paraskevov, Fundamental Analyst at IronFX Global, wishing you solid trading.